Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of T-Dog RC. I'm Tim and in this video we are going to be getting the wings completed on the Atom RC Swordfish. So we've got to get the motor mounted, got to get the ESC soldered up, we've got to get this quick release board all set up and soldered up, uh, the light soldered to the ESC, all that sort of stuff. So there's a fair bit of work still to do on the wings, um, so that's what we're going to be focusing on on this particular video. So. If you are into fixed wing FPV or Boltzer, Nitro, Electric, EDFs, all that sort of stuff, and you haven't subscribed to the channel, then why not hit the subscribe button? It doesn't cost you anything and it'd be great to have you on board as a subscriber um, and you'd be really helping me out. If you enjoy the videos that I do, then give me a thumbs up and if you've got any comments, stick them in the comments box down below. Uh, and I'll always make sure I get back to you. So this video is gonna get stuck straight in on the bench. I'm gonna put a link just up here to the first part of this. Uh, and I actually recorded it as one big video, um, but it was way too long, so I've split it in two. Um, hence the reason why this wing's all done and completed because I've recorded this after the footage you're gonna see. So that's why we're gonna get straight into it. So uh, sit back, get yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and enjoy. So, although there is, a plate, a plastic plate on there already. So let me just consult the instructions and then we'll see about getting all this connected up. So the instructions, as I said before, are pretty vague and actually it doesn't say anything in the instructions. It just says install the motor, ESC and LED. Uh, it does give you a wiring diagram, I'll give it that. So it does, it does show you how to wire the ESC up here. Uh, and we have to wire the ESC to the um, wing quick release board. So you don't, you're not wiring it directly to an XT60 or anything like that, or to putting servo plugs on the end. It's just going straight to this quick release um, board. So um, that's that. But what I have found quite useful is it does list out all the sort of components that you get and it doesn't say anything about these wooden pieces here. So I don't think these are for the motor. Oh no, they are actually, yeah. Motor base, it says. But there's already a plastic motor base on there. So the question is, which one do you use? Maybe they just, I don't know, give me the choice. Because they look pretty much the same to me. Yeah. I um, can't see why you wouldn't use that, to be honest. Maybe the ply one's just a spare or something. Um, and I certainly think you don't use both because there's no way that the the um, bolts to mount the motor are going to go through both the plastic and that. They're, they're not just not long enough. So I'm going to go with those. Um, but I think what I'm going to do before I mount those, well, I, I can mount the plates, so I'll get that done. Um, and then I'm going to then start having a look at getting this ESC soldered up. Okay, that's that one done. So I'll get the other one done. And then I think we're going to be ready to wire this ESC up. Okay, so I've got everything laid out on the bench that I need. I've read the wiring diagram. Um, so what I've got to do is basically you have to solder everything to this little quick release board and this goes in the wing. So this is going to fit into the root of the wing. So everything solders to this and then there's a plug, um, this black plug here. You get two of these uh, and they go out to uh, a bunch of servo leads so you can plug those into the flight controller and then the um, from the flight controller board, from the ESC side of it, you plug a little XT30 into there. So it's quite a good idea. So we just got to get it soldered up. Now, obviously fairly straightforward on the back. We've got positive and negative. Um, they do include a couple of gauges of wire. There's some thick stuff and some slightly thinner stuff. Um, I'm going to assume that the thinner stuff is to go from this board to the ESC. And I think the thicker stuff is going to be for the actual flight controller. Um, so this is what I'm going to use. I don't know if it says on it actually what it is. It's 18 gauge this is. So that should be fine because these won't draw many amps at all really. Um, 
so yeah, that's they're going to solder onto there, positive and negative. They're going to go to positive and negative on the speed controller. And obviously my three motor leads are going to go to the three pads on the front of the speed controller. I'm not going to know which, whether I've got it the right way around, so I'm just going to have to solder them up um, and then just test it once I've uh, got everything set up. And if it's the wrong way around, I just have to re solder a couple of the pads um, it's no biggie and then for this connection you've got a ground 5 volts signal another ground and then M which is for motor and an auxiliary I'm not going to use the auxiliary so what I need to do is the grind the ground 5 volt and signal is for the servo for the error on servo um, so I'm gonna have to cut the end off you, if you can just see that in the distance, I'm going to have to cut the servo lead off the end of that and solder that directly to here. Oh no, I'm not, because that's going to plug in, isn't it, actually? Yes, I'm talking absolute rubbish. Um, that's actually just going to plug into the end of there. And then you get this lead included. Uh, and that is going to be for the speed controller. So we've got ground and signal, which goes to, um, so it goes like that. You've got, that's gonna go on there. Now the only confusing thing is, and I could swap these over, is that the, there's no um, positive lead for the speed controller because obviously it's, you, you, you wouldn't have that, you just need the ground and signal. So you're gonna have to swap. I could use the red cable, I suppose, um, but I think to keep it all nice and neat, I'm gonna swap, I'm gonna get rid of the red and swap it with the, uh, with the white, because I'm not gonna use an auxiliary anyway. They, those two, so the ground and signal, just screw, uh, screw solder to these pads here so you've got ground and signal there the 5 volt one you're not going to use but what I will do is for the lights I'm probably just going to solder the lights um, to these two pads at the back there although that might be a 5 volt output there that's the only thing I'm not sure whether that's an input or an output or is it no it's not it's going to be an output so I could solder the lights to that, the ground and five volt. That might make more sense. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to use because the lead isn't long enough anyway to go to the the root of the uh, the wing. So it's going to have to solder to these pads here. So that five volt and that ground I'll also use uh, for the lights. So. Hopefully you followed along with that. Uh, I'm going to start some high speed video and get this all done. I've got my trusty piece of blue tack on the board here, which I use for holding things when I'm soldering. It works really well. So first thing I'm going to do is get the uh, positive and negative wired up to the XT30. Then I shall get these ones wired up. Um, so I'm going to swap those around to get those soldered up and then I'll solder the motor wires on. So let me get my knife and I'll get those plugs swapped over. And without further ado, let's roll the high speed video.
Okay, that was fiddly, but we've got there. So, got it all soldered up, uh, as you can see there. Cut the motor wires down a little bit. Soldered those on. That's probably wishful thinking. I've soldered these uh, exactly as they come out of the motor to the pads. It's usually, you always start to look that you've got them the wrong way around, but we'll see. So, um, I've just got to get these wires fed back in here. So let me just get this light wire. So the speed controller is going to go in here. Okay, so I've just made a slight mistake there. Is I've soldered the XT30 wires on, but um, it's not going to go through the uh, the end plate. So I'm going to have to just quickly take these off, feed the wires through and then solder them back on so it's not a big issue. Okay, I'm just going to fasten the motor back on. I've probably done these motor wires a little bit too long. But it'll be okay. Might do the other side a bit shorter. Okay, and my last job then is going to be to just re-solder these back on. So we've got the, in fact I put the positive on first, making sure I don't melt the wing. Just going to get the motor cover back on. So that just sort of clips on like that. Okay, so that goes on there nice. And then we can feed those wires in there. And then I can connect up my servo lead to there. And then the ESC lead is going to be there. And now we've just got to try and shove this lot back in here. But do you know what I think? I think this positive one is just going to be, these battery leads are going to be too long, I think. I don't think that's ever going to go in there. Uh, right, okay. They're way too long, so I'm going to have to shorten these down. I wish you could take this thing off. But I'm pretty sure it's glued on. They're going to want to come sort of right down to there, actually. Going to be a little bit hairy trying to solder that but we'll figure it out this is probably why i shouldn't have screwed the motor on now because actually i could have pulled it all down a little bit but you can't pull it down too much because of the light the lighting cable okay guys well that was fiddly to say the least but we've managed to get it all in there now this was a bit of a tight fit but um i just filed a tiny little bit off the end and then was able to uh, to get that in place. So that's screwed in place now. Wires are all running down there into the motor bay uh, and everything's gone in. So uh, obviously I've got to test it, would be the next thing now, um, just to make sure everything's connected okay. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'll need to give that a good test. So I'm gonna crack on with the other wing and then I'll show you once I've done that other wing. Okay, well, that was a bit fiddly, but we got there. It's both wings all connected up uh, and I've tested these connectors uh, using a little uh, 450 milliamp 3S that I've got with a XT30 on the end. As you can see the light there is shining nicely and then I've just hooked this up to the ESC connection and you can see there that the motor's turning and it's even going in the right direction. Um, and I've also tested the servo, in fact let me just show you, I'll, um, I'll unhook that XT30. 
Okay, so that's I've just uh, taken the speed controller out, plug the servo in. Different leads, but I just don't want the motor going around at the same time as I'm doing this. Um, but as you can see there, that is also working. So that proves that my connections, solder and all that is sound. So that is a good thing. That's both wings done. I've got the other one done as well. Um, so that is going to wrap this particular video up. So my next job now for the next video is getting the flight controller installed uh, and getting all that soldered up and programmed and, and just basically getting the model set up. So I think we'll, we'll have another video of, um, of um, how I'm going to get it all set up, all the servos working together and all that sort of stuff. Um, so if you're enjoying this and you want to follow along, then why not subscribe? And as my little boy said to me today while he was watching a, a video, keep flying and keep subscribing. So I said to him, I'm going to use that. Um, so yeah, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed, then uh, help me out, hit the subscribe button. It'd be great to have you along as a subscriber. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. I think I probably already said that. Um, and if you like what I'm doing, then give me a thumbs up because that helps me out as well and it helps me out uh, on YouTube. And if you've got any comments, then put them in the comments box and I'll always get back to you. So uh, yeah, I'll see you soon for the next one.